the air really of the play is something that I've created um, with these yoga swings. I'm going to introduce the This is a swing. It's a sweatshirt material. It's really stretchy, really comfortable. We're going to make sure the swing is the right height for you and make sure the leg loops are in a comfortable place. So we'll adjust all this. We also have hand holds, which we'll use for some tricks here. So identify your hand holds, just follow me. Some people think this is a handhold when they're upside down and get confused. This is a daisy chain. So the daisy chains allow us to adjust the height of the equipment. You'll notice that the swing and the leg loops are being held by carabiners. They're very strong climbing carabiners. So these are all, the whole system is weighted for 500 pounds. So we're all good. We have two people in the swing, it might be a little much, so we do one at a time. Um, like I said, let's check it and make sure it's the right height for us. So let's see the swing behind our back. Right underneath the arms. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn the hooks. So the anchor points are the parts that attach the swing to our bodies. Now, if my anchor point is my other arms, but I don't have my elbows down, it's very possible that the swing will slide out. So we keep our elbows bent and down. Awesome. Now again, if we are like this, it's fine. But then if we go to drop, the swing can release. So it's way important to keep the arms on the outside of the swing at all times, even if we're reaching up. See, now if I drop, everyone try it with me. Now if I drop, the swing is holding on. So do exactly as I did. Reach up, grab for the swing, keep your elbows on the outside, so you're pulling them in, and now drop to the floor. Awesome, good. Now let's do it the wrong way, <laughs> just to get practice. Bring your elbows on the inside, and now drop down. Totally different. Okay? So these are just little anchor points that once we do do it a few times, we realize how important it is because we want to have maximum fun, but also lots of safety when we play. Okay, so these are our, you can hire those if you want, you can adjust them. These are our leg loops. We're going to use them for our hands as well as for our feet and our knees. But we're like a little marionette. We're going to just use these to drop straight down and just feel how the swing holds us. Notice how much stretch there is, so just bounce a few times. Get your legs underneath you. Keep your weight in the swing, just bounce. Come up and down a few times. There you go. Perfect. So keep your weight in the swing and just come up and back down. Awesome. So you don't have to stand up all the way, just keep your weight in the swing and just bounce. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Now we're going to shift from side to side a little bit. Let the swing hold us the whole time. Right? We're just kind of playing and exploring the space. We're going to have lots of time to play today in the workshop. We have everybody here is able to assist as well as to have fun. So if you're not sure what to do, you can also look around or ask somebody, and then we're all here to help. Okay? Cool. So these are just making little circles. So I'm pressing back, and then I'm shifting from side to side. Cool. Now notice the swing is behind the heart. So you can do a little bit of a back bend. You don't have to stand up. You can just lean back. Open up the heart. Lean back even more. So press that. Lean back with your heart. Thank you. There you are. Bring your shoulders down your back. Engage your lats. There you go. Cool. So we want to really use the swing to support us in back bends and inversions. So if the swing goes up really high, let's do it the wrong way. The, ear, the shoulders will be by the ears, right? It doesn't even look that great if you look around. Um, what's going on? So engage your lats, lean back. There we go. Open up the heart. There's like a sweet spot right underneath the shoulder, shoulder blades where it's going to hold us. There we go. So practice adjusting the swing without standing up. Just keep your weight in the swing and lean back. So there's going to be a lot of different poses where we're not going to have our feet on the ground, so we would be able to adjust it without getting up. Awesome. And just take some time to get used to the swing. Really enjoy being uplifted. Feel how the spine is being traction out of the pelvis. And now we have more space in the vertebrae right in the body. Can you feel that? Let's twist a little bit from side to side as well. Throwing our legs like unusually side to side. Awesome. So my feet are still wide. Turning one knee in at a time. Good. Beautiful. And yeah, we can always 
we cannot put all the way down to the ground like we're coming into a lunge. Nice, deep breath, hip stretch. Good. And just play in the space. There's no wrong way to do it when it comes to the moves. We just want to make sure we have the support and the anchor points. And then we explore. We want to start to feel the spiraling or the spherical nature of our body. Really good. Now we're going to bring our legs straight in front of us. Toes touching, straight legs. Now let's let go of the, uh, the leg loops. Let's just lean back. So now we're just coming out with the um, eagle wings. Fingertips to the sides. Now if you need to support your neck, you can bend your elbows and clasp your fingers behind your neck. Bring your arms out wide again, and then swim them over your head. So you can clasp your fingers or just have parallel arms. And sway a little bit from side to side. And big back bend. And then like we're swimming, we're going to spin our hands back to the front of our bodies, wide. And then sit down. Alan, just physical cues, OK? Awesome. Let us stay. Cool. Reaching out. And wide. Awesome. Swim back down again. Namaste. We drop the hips at the same time. Really good. Beautiful. Why? Lisa, do you know what I did in that swing? You can just show clarity and just have a little here as well. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of other visual. Beautiful. So let's do that a few more times if it feels good on your body. If there's any place that you want to stop, like if you're like, oh yeah. This is the stretch I need today. Or I really like this. Whenever I clasp my hands behind my head, I call this chillaxing. I can hang out here. Or if you like the full back bend, the full extension, then go ahead and bring your arms straight overhead. And just take a moment to explore and play which one of the poses feels right for you today. Just know that they're all available. Nice. Supported back bends. It's a miracle. This is really why I created this swing, so we would feel a little bit more at home in back bends and inversions, and be able to do them and go deeper than we would if we were just on the ground. Okay? Beautiful. Let's come back into our semi squat. I'm using this as like a neutralizing pose, so whenever you need a break, just come back to here. Because the swing is still holding you up, but you can notice that you can put most of the weight in your legs. So the underarms are going to have to get used to this kind of pressure. So that's one of the ways to take pressure off is just come in and kind of stand. Okay? Good. Now if I don't utilize the leg loops, they tend to have a little bit of momentum and can get a little whack. <laughs> so I usually do the marionette hands. And we're going to come kind of shifting from side to side again. I'd like to bring my legs a little bit wider than our circles and press into a warrior two. Does everybody get to yoga? So in warrior two, my knee and my ankle are in one straight line. Good. Perfect. And then I'm going to look over my front fingertips. Kind of fierce, right? Nice straight lines of energy. And now to switch, I'm going to just lean back. I kind of do this little thing with my hands so that I like to flourish. <laughs> and then come to the other side. Because right? the whole idea is like we get to swim, right? So switch back and forth a few times and just notice what it's like to come into the warriors with the support of the swing. Just let it feel good on the body. all go in the same direction, that's great, but if not, that's totally fine, too. Just hang out here and feel what happens in your hip flexor, your inner thigh, and with the pulse. Nice. And then when you're ready, go ahead on the other side. Down 
side to side, but we're grounding. So we can actually look down and follow and trace the circular motion of the mat from side to side. Beautiful. Now really gently, we're going to just pulse straight down. So imagine your heart kissing the ground. We're going to keep this long line of energy from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So don't drop the head. You're not like looking up at your friends unless you're checking me out every once in a while. Just keep the crown of your head moving towards the center of the room and your tailbone moving out to the outside the dome, right? Following the spherical nature of the space. So release your right arm, arm down. Keep your left elbow hooked. My first posture is a hand right underneath the heart. If this is a big enough stretch for you, stay here. If you'd like to go deeper, I want you to look up towards the sky and as you twist, take your right hand and reach for the left ankle. Now just notice that you have a different wide straddle than when you're doing regular yoga on the floor because your elbow is helping you to deepen the twist. So see what happens when you pull your elbow down towards your heart. So keep your, your fist in towards your shoulder so it's nice and tight and then pull on the swing to deepen the pose. Keep the hips square, so let it come from the chest. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna look forward towards the center of the room. Bring your left arm overhead. So you just twist the swing overhead. Let it be in your hand. There you go. Nice. Now you're gonna thread your right hand through into that little space. Cool. So hands together, whatever class feels right. And drop the chest again. Just get a big shoulder opener here. Does anybody have any shoulder pain or discomfort? No? Not with this. Great. So in general, uh, you can have your friends bend their elbows and still get a great chest opener. So everybody bend your elbows and give it a try. So you're holding on to the swing. That's why that nice little knot there kind of helps, right? And now straighten your arms again. Now notice you can pulse here where you can press your arms strongly down to lift your body up. Now notice you can do this really easy. Right? And just come up. Or we can really engage. Like press, press, press. And notice we're using all these crazy muscles under the arms that we don't normally use. Mm -hmm. It can be quite a strengthening exercise. Or we can be totally chill about it. Just hang. Right? So decide if you want to do more strengthening today or if you just want to do more opening and stretching. To cater the class towards your own needs. Okay, so I'm going to look up. I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to bring it on top of the X. Hook with the elbow, and then your hands 